it feels so good for one to have went to the barbershop yesterday and then wake up this morning look in the mirror like oh my god i'm fresh quarantine is over almost man it just feels like we're getting back to normal a little bit but everybody still definitely be safe and y'all know me um with the new baby and all that i definitely still ain't going hard out in these streets still not sure about opening up the studio yet plus i just got so much mixing work that i need to do that i don't even have time to record anybody but that's another story um but i definitely want to thank everybody man so many of y'all been reaching out saying congratulations and you know all this stuff wishing well and sending gifts and everything and i more than appreciate it man little baby amara is here and she gonna be in the family too man she's gonna be in the studio next so be on the lookout because she already been flexing her vocal cords and we can see what kind of singer she about to be welcome back to the lab i know it's been a minute well it seemed like it's been a minute for me like it ain't really been that long it's been like a week i guess since i've been in here uh, but it just seems like so long, man, because this is my baby. I can't stay away from her. But now I got another baby that I got to be with all the time. But um, it's cool. I got so much work that I'm backed up on at the current moment. Uh, luckily, I love what I do, though. So, you know, it is what it is. I'm going to get it done. Shout out to all my clients. I, I, hopefully, I got to reach out to everybody. Thank you all for being patient. Uh, like I said, I definitely... Um, was expecting that baby to come in a couple more weeks. So she came a little early. So, you know what I mean? Little projects gotta be put on hold for a little bit, but I'm back now. Uh, everybody's good and healthy and safe and, and I'll be catching up on work and I do have a plan of attack for today. Um, so basically, let's just run down what we are gonna do. Um, I got a, a project that I've been working on with like 16 songs on it. I, I did eight of the revisions yesterday, you know, just minor little tweaks, turn up ad lib here, turn up the snare there. Um, and I got eight, the other eight, there's some, probably some revisions, not all of them need revisions, but some of them will. So I'm going to go ahead and work on that today too. And let's see, what else, what else, what else, what else? I just wanted to widen that thing up. <laughs> uh let's see oh i got some i'm gonna zero my inbox because i got a lot of emails that i missed so if y'all been hitting me up about mixing services or anything else like that i'm definitely gonna be zeroing out my inbox and i'm going to unbox some monitors adam audio sent me some new monitors that they got these adam audio t8vs so this is their eight inch active near field monitor so they sent me these and the dope thing about this, y'all know Wavy, anytime I got something going on, I try to bring y'all in. So I'm actually gonna be doing a giveaway where I'm gonna give away a pair of those Adam Audio TAVs. So make sure y'all watch this video to the end and subscribe and hit the notifications because at one point, some point, I'm gonna get those monitors away. So, but I'm gonna set them up today and you know, test them out for a couple of weeks and see how I like them. Don't worry though, the giveaway pair will be a brand new pair. You ain't gonna get these pairs, all right? Um, and then let's see, after I do that, I gotta go home for some baby time. Yes, I put baby time on my actual plan of attack today because that's important. I don't wanna get lost in the work uh, and, and forget to go home and spend some precious time with my new days old baby. So um, yeah, man, let's, let's get to work. All right, y'all, so I'm excited to open up the Atom Audio T8V. Um, it's the active near field monitor, eight inch woofer on it, and it does have that uh, ribbon tweeter on it that is really good. I love those on my A7Xs, so I'm curious to see how they sound on this T8V. This is a lower end model, um, so, so it's like uh, the, the step down from the A7Xs, so it's a lot more affordable. I think they're like 300 a piece. I'm not exactly sure, don't quote me on that. But uh, yeah, thanks to uh, Adam Audio. And again, we're going to be giving away a pair of these. So let's just go ahead and get them checked out. I'm going to get them set up in the studio. And I'll do a full review on these in a couple of weeks after I use them for a while. But let's just go ahead and get them open so we can see what they looking like. <laughs>
Oh, I forgot that I probably need to keep these looking good. Whoa, this is a big old monitor. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is compare this to my A7X, okay? So just looking at the A7X uh, that I have on my desk right now, um, I can tell right off the bat, the ports are not on the front. So this is rear ported. Okay, now the reason that it's important to have the ports on the front is because it's gonna give you a better low end response if your monitors are like close to a wall or another surface like that. But this one is rear ported and it does have a massive porthole on the back to let that uh, energy escape from the back back there. Okay, so that and there's an input switch. So this is what we were looking at before. Depending on if you're using a, a, a unbalanced input or a balanced input, you can switch real easily depending on what the input is. Now, normally it would just detect the input. So I don't know why you need to have a switch, but that's fine. I'm going to be using the balanced input. So I'm going to keep that switch up. All right. Now, also on the back here, uh, we got the power. Now that's also different because on the A7Xs, you have the power switch on the front of the monitor. The front of this monitor does look super clean. This woofer looks like it's made of super high quality materials. Um, man, I really like the look of this thing and, and the way it's like reflecting the light in this studio, uh, that, that looks really cool. I really like how this looks on the front. It looks like a very clean, very big, it, it's, it's definitely bigger because obviously it's an eight inch instead of a seven inch, uh, but it's definitely bigger. Um, boost, you can boost or cut the high frequencies by two dB. You also got the low frequency shelf. You can boost or cut by two dB. And then you got your little trim level here to, you know what I'm saying, set the level of your monitor. But other than that, that's really it for this monitor. It's gonna be pretty easy to set up and get going. All I gotta do is plug it up, make sure that the levels are set right, and we're gonna be good to go. Now, since I am, let me bring this on over here. All right, so since I am, since I'm using my PreSonus Central Station uh, as my monitor controller, um, I have my Yamaha HS5s on A, I have my A7Xs on B, and I have my Atom uh, subwoofers on C so that I can use the subs whenever I want to turn them on and off. So I don't have any more options to connect this. So what I will do is just disconnect the uh, the Yamahas for now because I really want to kind of compare the A7Xs to the T8Vs. So um, again, I'm going to be doing this for like a week, man, or at least two weeks maybe. Uh, but I'm gonna I'm put some time on it. I'm gonna check some mixes on these things with and without the sub. And I really just wanna see what they sound like, man. I might have to keep these for myself. <laughs> but make sure y'all go ahead and hit that notification so whenever I do decide to do the giveaway on these TAVs, y'all can be the first to know, all right? So I just want to talk to y'all real quick about a topic that came up in this week's, well, yeah, this week's Q&A, the live Q&A that I do every Tuesday with the Wavy Seals Elite. If you're not familiar already with the Wavy Seals Elite, it is a private membership group where um, we offer exclusive content, master classes, mixed reviews, one-on-one -on -one help. Um, it's a whole bunch of other stuff going on, exclusive giveaways, all of that. The Wavy Seals Elite is my community that I interact with every day and I get a lot more close and hands-on with people who want to learn this craft. And I brought on one of my mentors, Adam Long, seven time Grammy nominee to help out. He brings a lot of super dope content to that group. So if y'all interested in kind of the stuff that we have going on, definitely join the Wavy Seals Elite, man. It's only $9.99 for your first month. If you love it, then you will stay. And I know that you will, all right? Um, but one of the topics that we end up talking about real quick on that Q&A was basically how to get 
big name clients, right? Somebody was asking me about my journey a little bit and um, kind of interning at Quad. And yeah, I started off at Quad Studios. For those of y'all who don't know, after I graduated Full Sail, I moved up to New York and started interning at Quad Studios. Now doing that, it, it basically allowed me to get close to artists that I would have never gotten close to. Now, I'm from St. Louis, Missouri, man, and, and there's a couple of big studios out here, but not a lot of big artists, man. Nelly is the biggest artist that come out of St. Louis. We got Chingy, uh, but uh, there, it really ain't uh, been a lot of big music stuff happening here. So I had to leave my city and go to where the action was. So I would definitely say that at least, man, if you in a place, if you live in, in Idaho or something like that, and your goal is to work with major artists, then you probably gonna have to relocate. Now, um, does working at a big studio and interning, does it still have the same effect that it used to have? I'm not sure 100% if it does, but I think that is definitely a good start, man, depending on what your goals are. Yes, if you just want to be an audio engineer, you can definitely get good by building a home studio. You can be a professional, man. Look, don't let nobody tell y'all nothing different. You can be a professional just by building a home studio, learning your craft and working your way up, learning a little bit more every day and then grow like that. And then through networking, absolutely, right? Networking is a major key. But if you're not in a position to network with those people, who know those people that you want to get next to, then you're going to have to find some way to get next to them. So for me, my strategy was that if I'm working in a big studio where the artists are coming, the major label artists, they're coming to the studio, even if I'm an intern or an assistant, I can work my way up by building those relationships and, and get those contacts with contacts with the managers or whoever it is that can, that can put me in the room with those artists. And that's ultimately what I did. Let us know. Let's talk about it in the comments. I'm going to drop down in there too. I want to know what some ways that y'all think it could be possible to get uh, some work with those major artists. Boy, ain't nothing like when you leave the studio and it's feeling good outside and the sun shining. Feel like you've been in a cave or something. Dang, man, let me put my seatbelt on. I always never be. That's why they got that beat for people like me. But yeah, man, I couldn't let the top down, but I did let the back down, you know what I'm saying? In the forerunner, we let the backs down. <laughs> but yeah, man, I'm about to get outside for a minute. Uh, I got some more work to do, some more emails and, and other stuff to, to finish my plan of attack from earlier. Send out that newsletter, or we'll at least get it prepared to go out. But yeah, man, the grind does not stop in or out the studio. It definitely don't stop. So I just got back to the crib and I had left the camera in the car. So I thought I'd bring baby with me so she can come outside, get some of that sunlight, get some sun. Oh, too much sun. <laughs> Go back in the house real quick. Time to get that baby ready to go for a walk. Can you talk? But can you walk? Mm. Ready to go for a walk? Girl, you don't even look like you had a baby. Yeah, yeah right. Look like I had a baby, but it's all right for a little while. <laughs> she just can't hold on to that for for too long. It'd be, it'd be, it'd be two years later. Look, I just had a baby. Little base two. Man, nobody listening to you. Yeah, come on. <laughs> yeah, my daddy thought he's recording. He's a new one. <laughs> I know I'm for you. Shout out to the my pillows. Yo, these joints. How you like them? Like, I pillow? love them. <laughs> the, the I love pillow? it. Yo, if y'all been thinking about getting a my pillow, go ahead and get the my pillow. The my pillow is definitely. Here. You definitely get some good night's sleep going down with that. Mace, while you playing with that, go ahead and take both of them boxes out to the trash. Yeah. Yeah. 